Hello guys, this is Grim Stutz and welcome back to the fourth and the final part of the AK47 modeling tutorial. Um, this part will only be about uh, the details like the safety switches, the rivets, uh, well basically the easy parts if you may say so and uh, I hope you enjoy it guys. Okay so now I'm going to start on the details and I think biggest thing we should start from is this. Uh, I think it's a safety switch. I'm not too sure. Actually I think it really is a safety switch to be honest. And it is quite complicated at least in... at least I think it is. I'm not sure. Someone might find this really easy. So let me just have a look. I'll start off with the uh, cylinder 2. Okay, so how can we do this? Okay. Let's just bring this in a bit. Maybe a little bit more flat. Something like this. Okay, and I want to delete half and extrude um, from that edge, like so. Obviously, the whole area selected, the whole edge all around. Okay, and just keep extruding it. Oops, this is why you click the little circle. Sorry, I don't know what the name for this thing is. But definitely is a name for it though, I remember hearing it. Okay, let's have a look. Um, I think it goes all the way up to here actually. I think that's it there. Yeah, definitely is. So I'll have it like that. And then insert an edge loop right here. Lift this up a bit. Like so. And I'm going to insert a couple here and here. And then take this it down a little bit so it's more of a rounded edge. I might do the same on this part as well. With both these widths. Yep, something like that. I keep the edge flat actually. And <laughs> so that's the main thing. Scale it up a little bit more. Okay, now I'm going to duplicate that and make the smaller one. Oops. So that goes up to here, I think. Yeah. It's pretty much rounded the edge on this one. I'm just going to move these back. Make sure this part is quite flat. And move these up. Like so. Here we are. And insert edge loop right there. I think it's inside the actual thing. I'm just going to move this out. Have it somewhere like that. 
and I want to both of these things, I guess. I want to extrude that. I'm just going to look at the wireframe here. And I want it just to barely touch. Like this. Bring this up a little bit actually. There we go. I'm going to also round up this edge I think as well. Or at least try to bring this down. Okay, that's okay. That's fine. Cool. So that's this thing nearly done. And what we need to do is just select the whole thing and deselect. So the back face is delete. Same here. Leap. Here we go. And what it will do now as well is it will just select the whole edge. Whoops, I think we deleted a bit too much there. Oh, never mind. We never even had anything there. Okay. I'm just going to select this edge, extrude. And I want to use Merge Vertex tool. Snap these in place. Here we are. That's good. And do the same with this part as well. Maybe even fill hole. See if that works. No, that does not. Okay, so do the same. Extrude Major Vertex tool and snap this one like so. Let's make sure there's no errors like that anywhere else. Okay, that's good. And <laughs> Yeah, we need to bevel this part. So, bevel. And make the offset around 280 to 300. Like this. I'm going to bevel this part as well. Bevel. Mm, have it 330, it's a bit different from the other one. And I'm just going to merge these widths, or is it just better to merge vertex from top to that one? Yeah, that's a little bit better. Still needs fixing from the side view. I'm just going to lift it up a little bit. There we go, that's fine. Great. Probably also push in a little bit more. There we go. And round off this edge a little more just by pushing these out like so. Okay, that's fine. And I'm just going to make a flat like a rectangle like this Let's see where that can fit I'm going to rotate it a bit 
Here we go. Just put it right there. Delete uh, the face we can't see. Let me just look at it from the top view. And maybe just. Uh -huh. Round off these edges. Like so. Maybe use the vertex instead. Yeah. Here we go. Push it down a little bit more, maybe. Um, get a bit more rotation something like this and maybe even make it a little bit wider like so and then also bevel this part as well Like this. Okay, that's cool. And we need to duplicate this now and have one at the bottom as well. This one's going to be scaled down a little bit more. Don't have to 100% follow the reference. Unless you're making like a, a really high polygon model. Uh, if you game uh, orientated, which I assume you're watching this tutorial for, uh, this should be completely fine. So we have something like this. Scale it down a little more. Maybe also scale this way. And rotate like this. I want to just take this part up a little bit more. There we go. Okay, that's cool. Now what we need to do is just get another cylinder. Uh, rotate it on the x-axis by 90. Go. Go to the front view. Select the faces. So something like this and bevel like so. And I'm going to use the sphere tool now. Rotate that by 90 degrees. Obviously take some subdivisions out of it. Fifteen or actually just go with sixteen. Should be fine. Delete one half. And Make it quite flat. And then that will go right into the middle, like so. Here we 
go. So that's pretty much that safety switch uh, done. So the next details they'll go uh, more like this part here and the, the bolts. So this next part I am just going to start off uh, with the cylinder. Uh, 90 degrees and this one's not really that complicated to do like most things are not like I've been saying all tutorial I think um, you need about about this much of scale okay and they want to delete one half like that and rotate so what we need to do now is like usual just select that edge and extrude make sure you select everything all that edge and select the little circle drag it out all the way down here scale it down a little bit there you go I'm going to isolate it and you want to just fill this hole mesh fill hole split polygon tool connect the polys and I want to go to the front view and get rid of the back faces like so Okay, let me see. So, what we can do here is um, <laughs> duplicate it. Bring this in to around here and scale it down like so what? ok wait do we need to scale that? or not? ok do not duplicate that just insert edge loop right here and select all these faces and extrude like so Select this edge, carefully bring it up. To be very careful with this. Okay, so for instance, like a straight line. Okay, good. Or oh, even better, we can just bevel it and have it on like three or three hundred if you're doing it for your attribute editor. And Mm -hmm. Split poly. Okay, that's good. And this part, I'm just going to. Mm, should I just duplicate this? Okay, I'm just going to use a cube for this. So, there we go. Let's see the wireframe. Let's make sure the size of it is like this. Actually, just bring this in as well, like so, and I'm going to go to the back of it, 
delete this edge. Well, not the edge, just this one. Okay. Scale it down. Bring it in here. Put a split poly there. And just extrude this part down here. Vertexes. Here we go. Okay, that's cool. Bring it in a bit more. And I'm just going to bevel this all the way around. Like so. And let's just see if this needs a bevel at all. I'm going to merge these. Okay, that's cool. I'm just going to oh also one thing I forgot to do uh, when they beveled and split polygon. Don't forget to do that. I'm going to bring one of these, I'm just going to duplicate it. And let's bring it right here. Rotate. Like so. Maybe actually make this a little bit bigger and scale down to about this size. Go. Okay, that's that pretty much done. That looks fine. Maybe rotate this a little bit more. Just just a little bit. There you go. And what else do we need here? Uh, just a sphere. So we can just use this one. Duplicate. that right in the middle, scale down a little bit, bring it out, make sure it's in the middle of this thing, yeah that's fine, okay, that's cool, and now the little details, it's just the little rivets, Ninety degrees. There we go. Let's have a look how that looks. We need it to be around this much, and I will bevel them as well. go. But seriously, do not worry about these bevels and uh, so much polys. We have so much space to work with for games these days. Uh, some of the high-end games, I'm not even sure how many polys they use for weapons. Probably way more than 20k. But no, Counter-Strike's got like, weapons that are around 20, 25k. And that's uh, that game can run in very low end views. Just duplicate them all over the place like this. Here we go. 
Do we need any more on this side? No, it seems like it's that's it. And I'm just going to select all of them. Mesh combine. Select and center the pivot and then I'm going to insert and snap the pivot to the middle and duplicate special. It should be fine and this is the options that I have. Uh, still the same, one one minus one. Okay. So that's the rivets and we'll need a rivet right here. So I'm just going to duplicate this and just remove the unneeded ones. Sense the pivot. We need it in the middle here. Going to duplicate it. Here we go. Okay guys, so what I have noticed is the these uh, holes are a bit too big. So I'll just go and fix that right now. Um, I want to select the words on the top one. And just select this whole uh, edge of them. Like so. And just bring it down a little bit and do the same on the bottom as well. Okay, something like this. There we are. Maybe a little lower. There we go, that looks much better now. Um, and now I wanted to do the belt strap because the original AK-47 doesn't really have the uh, sight mount. Um, mostly the ones you see in games, they are um, well, they're influenced by the AKM. They also have the sharper barrel and the. Um, I'm not too sure to explain it, but it's like reinforced cover. It's got like, um, like this dense, like about three dents on the cover. But yeah, oh yeah, and one more thing as well. I'm just going to quickly select this whole thing, and I'm going to combine it. Let's combine and I'm going to go to insert on the keyboard and insert the oops, let me just center the pivot first. So I want to insert it right into the middle here. And because um especially if it's in game, it's gotta be in the fire mode, right? So bring it down like so. Um, what can you do about this? Probably have like a, just a plane there that hides the big hole as well. Pretty sure uh, on an AK there's a there's not that much space between here and there. But yeah, let's get started on the little belt clip. So what I want to do is just start off with the cylinder tool. Um, let me see. I have to get the size because it's not really on the reference. I'll have to like, improvise it. I know how it looks. I'm not looking at the reference actually for this. Um, but it's different in all AKs as well, so you can't really fully go wrong with this. Um, just trying to get the size right. Okay, that should be fine because we'll still need to extrude this. And we want 16 subdivisions. Like that. And go to faces, select the top one, and start to extrude. So, what we'll need to do is the same thing we did for the magazine is extrude, rotate, move it a little, and keep, the, keep going. I'm going to keep hitting G a lot 
um, for the shortcut of the last used tool. It should extrude for me. Okay. Like so. Shake it out a little more. sure if I should like pause this part and uh, then show you the end thing like with the magazine because the magazine is much simpler you have the reference for it so I don't think I'll pause here and I'll just show you how I I do it so bring it around here and then you need to do a couple more extrudes like this there we go so that could be like a midpoint I'm just going to select the width really quick and I'm going to scale them to make them a straight line. I'm going to get these ones and snap them. And I also want to get rid of the bottom faces, so just do that. There we go. Make sure that snap it doesn't look like it is. Oh, it's fine. Okay. <clears throat> so instead of uh, using duplicate special, I'm just going to get the pivot over here. What I'll do is just because it's a uh, completely symmetrical object that you can just do this to um, rotate on X by 180 and you can just snap it into place like so so mesh combine center the pivot and merge the words and then I also want to select these two edges, normals, soften edge, and anything that looks weird and out of place, I want to soften. There we go, that looks cool. I'll just bring it back here, like so. And now what we need is uh, a cylinder. So 90 degrees on that, on the X. Um, I'm going to go to the front view and delete the left, oops, not the left half, but uh, the left uh, side, like so, because it will be over here and let me just censor it around this part I want this to be around here and this should be mm -hmm, around this size okay and stick that in there let it pop a bit I'll bring this away for now we need to do a nice bevel on this, probably a couple segments here. Oops. So let's have a look. Mm-hmm. Normal set normal angle. I'm going to just soften this edge. So we have something like this. 
maybe it'll just harden that edge. And this one. Okay. <laughs> That looks a bit weird, so I'm just going to control Z all the way up. And I will just have one segment on the bevel and have it about 190, 200, something like that. Yeah, this is fine. Okay, so you have something like this. And I'm just going to make another cylinder. And two, rotate on 90, go to the front view, uh, remove the back faces. Let me just snap it right in the middle. And of course, this one is going to be much smaller. This is what holds the little belt clip in place. So you want it to be about this size. Let's see. Maybe a bit bigger. Take it out a little bit like this. And bevel this part as well. Here we go. Maybe also just give it a little bit of a rotate to the side. Here we are. And I'm just going to soften this edge while I can see it. And this one as well. Oops. Okay, that's that's a bit strange. Okay, now mind I'm just going to leave it that way I guess with the texture you won't be able to really see it in small detail and another thing I want to do is just to because I'm sure I never did this and select these two edges on the cover and just soften them as well this is for later because when you have the texture it might look a bit weird so just make sure to soften those and I am going to just grab this thing. I'm going to duplicate that. And I want this over here. I'm going to scale up a little bit more and I'm just going to select these widths and I'm going to scale them down. Here we go. And I just want to duplicate it one more time. Actually, no, 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 not that one. I will <coughs> duplicate this part. I also just want to separate this. And I'm going to center the pivot. And this doesn't look like it's in the middle to me, to be honest. So I'm just going to make sure it's in the middle. And make sure, actually, that everything is in the middle. Like this. Okay, I'm just going to grab that, and duplicate. Take it down here and scale down like so. I'm pretty sure we only need this on one side. Maybe a little bit bigger. That's a 
snap this to the middle. Actually, I'm also just going to make this a little bit bigger, just so it looks nice on the model. There we go. And another thing what we need to do is I'm also going to duplicate this part. So dupe that and remove one half. Make it around this size. I'm going to center the pivot and rotate it. Uh, okay, 108 I guess. You can also just go to modify freeze transformations. Um, let's have a look. We need one here and one here. I'm just going to bring them up a little bit. This maybe have them a little bit closer. Yeah, you can see the shadows from the bolts, and I'm going to just actually what I will do is mesh combine and I want them selected. And set. Oops. Insert on the keyboard and snap it to the middle, and then duplicate special. There we go. And I forgot to show you the duplicate special settings. It should still the same. Okay, so that's good. So guys, I'm just going to uh, fix this little part up a little bit. What I want to do here is just um, select these four edges, like so. And I'm just going to scale them down a little bit like this. Here we go. And what I want is a bolt here as well. And I'm just going to, one more thing quickly go to the side here as well and just take this down a notch maybe as well like this there we go and the way I'm going to do the bolt here I'm just going to make a cylinder and I'll delete everything inside like so and I want to select the edge go to mesh fill hole and just connect everything with the split polygon tool. I'll just start like this. There we go. Oops. A bit a bit of a tricky thing to do sometimes. And these ones I'm just going to take across, like so. Just like we did on the barrel, I guess. On the gas chamber. And what I want to achieve with this is a, a, like a bolt line. So what I will do is just select all of it. Actually, yeah, all of it. And then deselect this from the side and deselect the faces in the middle and I'm going to extrude to about this height okay and I'm just going to select 
all around it and do a bevel like this. There we go. And I'll just place it into the position like so, somewhere here. And you might have to rotate it a little bit as well. There we go. Maybe make it a little bit smaller. Maybe even take it back a little more as well. Here we are. That's the little ball. So guys, I went to uh, Google, just found a, an image of an AK bullet. Here we go. And I'm just going to use the cylinder tool. And because this is such a small detail, and you're only going to see it, sorry, for like uh, two seconds max, I think. Maybe even much less than that. Um, it doesn't have to be high poly at all. So I'm just going to take it down to 12 and I'm just going to soften the edges like this it looks fine and the most thing that you will see when on the reload animation is just the, the color mostly and that's what's gonna give you that uh, perception that there's a, a bullet in the magazine it's just a, a nice detail most games do this now as well Always, it used to just be a flat magazine with nothing there. So I'm just going to extrude that, scale it down, extrude like so, and I'm going to extrude and offset. Yeah, 0 0.1 offset. Extrude again scale down on here actually scale that starts like scale down here and then extrude scale down extrude so here we go Maybe also just get the edge, and bring it down a little bit. Like so, and this should look fine if you just set the normal angle. Cool. Uh, we'll just soften edge on everything in a sec. I'm just going to finish this off and um, extrude offset. So I have 0 0.3 on that. And I'm going to offset again. Oops. Outwards like this. And extrude from there. There we go. I'm just I'm just going to bring this up a little bit, like so. Maybe a little more. Close the gap a little bit more. There we go. Okay, and now I'm just going to select all the edges like this. Probably don't have to do those ones actually. Select, select, and normals, soft and edge. Oh yeah, I do have to do those. Okay. There we go. That's our bullet done. So what I want to do now, because I made it on a separate uh, Maya window, what I will do is go to File, Export Selection, click the checkbox, 
so you want OBJX, but actually don't click the checkbox. <laughs> if you don't have OBJ export here, uh, go to Window. Let me just show you this. Um, if you don't know, yeah, Window Plugin Manager, and you should find uh, OBJ export right there. So select that, load it, and auto load, and uh, then you'll be able to use it. So OBJ export bullet. Okay, I'm just going to drop that onto my desktop and quickly go to my AK window. And what can I do here? Uh, import. Go to desktop again, take the Wrong. Don't don't select the MTL. Select the OBJ. Where is it? Yeah, bullet. There we go. So that's going to be massive. And I'm just going to rotate it by 90 degrees on Z. Minus 90 degrees actually. So it's faced this way. And I'm going to isolate the bullet and the magazine. I think also on the side view, front view, and top view. Just isolate it everywhere, to make it easier. Um, and I'm just going to give it around this size and bring it in like this. I go to the front view. So we have one right here here like so and probably size it down a little more oops yep. so size it down a more maybe make it a little longer So, and bring it up a little bit more, and then duplicate it, and put one right underneath, like so. As you know, that's a bullet go like one, two, three, four, five, like in a zigzag pattern. Okay, so that's a final detail done. So if you ever use this for a game, you have the bullets in there for the reload animation. So you've made it to the end of the tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you've learned something from it. This was the first time I have ever done something like this and it was quite challenging and it was fun as well. And I'm looking forward to do more, uh, maybe something like UV unwrapping as well. And some texturing tutorials and of course more models and I'm also, also thinking Maya basics as well for new users uh, of how to utilize some tools and uh, yeah please like and subscribe and uh, have a great day guys and thank you for watching this tutorial